Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be looking at VB script package in A360. So let's get started. You might be seeing the screen and in the screen we have some comments added. So we will come to these comments later on. Let's get started with the VB script package first. So you search VB script from the actions and you get these three actions within VB script action package. Uh, sorry, VB script package and we have open close and run function. So we will use open run function and close all the three actions. So VB script open action is to give uh, like open the session for your VB script to be executed. And here you have two options like import existing file and manual input. So you can either import VBS which is VB script file from control room desktop file or variableize if it is coming from the parent task or another task you can variableize that or you can choose a file from your local folder or a VB script file from the control room if it is uploaded on the control room and the next option you have is manual input herein you can type the script VB script so we will be using this option so here, let me write the VB script function, uh, function name, say hello maybe. And in parameter, we will provide name. And VB script function ends with and function. So we have function, function name, the parameter and and function. So within the body of this function, we will need to write something. So this is just a demonstration of how we can use VB script uh, in A360. We are proceeding with a simple example where I'll be taking input a name as an input and we will be greeting that user. So here in VB script, if you want to return something from a function, you need to write the name of that function and assign a value to it. So here we will assign as hello and hello the name of the person so this is how we will greet that person and this function will return hello and the name which we will be passing it so here our open action is completed now let's go back to vb script run function the session name we have kept it default we'll need to enter the name of the function here so the name of the function is say hello it's better to copy paste just to avoid typo and in the parameter name we need to create one variable of type string because we need to pass name so str name and from type we will specify a string and in default value we can provide any name so rpa feed let's provide this as a default value and in assign the output to a variable can we can create one more variable uh, but for now we will use let's say prompt assignment so this is how we have uh, used this run function and in the last is vb script close so this is this closes your vb script session let me pull up message box here just to demonstrate what we are getting from this function this is prompt assignment let's put prompt assignment over here and this is prompt assignment and let's run this bot so this should give us hello rpa feed because rpa feed was the default value we assigned to the string variable so let's see and we got the message as hello rpa feed our vb script is working perfectly fine now let's add some twist to it uh, we need to pass this name uh, as a dynamic value so currently we have hard coded it as a default value we want to pass it as a dynamic value so we need to accept it from the user so for that purpose let's uh, pull up prompt assignment wherein we can accept input from the user so prompt assignment for value we will add it here and enter your name and in the window we can keep vb script or something anything meaningful name and here we need 
one more variable or we can use the same variable but uh, I have created this variable so I'll go with name and enter your name your whatever name user will enter will be stored in the name variable and then we can pass this name variable to this function from here and now let's execute this bot so it will accept it will ask for a prompt for us to enter the name we can enter any name so this time let's enter uh, a YouTube maybe and okay so it should say hello YouTube so that's how our VB script executed successfully so guys that's all about VB script and yeah coming back to this comment so if you want to debug or sometime VB script is not working it's first of all it's always ad advisable to keep these uh, in a try catch block and do, do a proper error handling so that your bot execution is uh, like gracefully it terminates in case of errors and for more debugging on VB script so you can you can navigate to this folder uh, where where your automation anywhere bot runner is installed you can navigate to that um, uh, folder program data automation anywhere bot runner folder and you can view the logs of bot launcher so with the, with the current date with today's date or whenever you are you're facing the issue or on that particular dates log you can view and over there you will be able to figure it out what is the issue what is the cause so this will help you in debug, debugging the VB script related issues so guys that's all for this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe to our videos and hit the bell icon.